Hello there, Broadway.com. This is Jen Colella with Hedda's Headlines for the, is this the fourth episode? I think so. I think so. Yep, fourth episode. Um, I'm going to be interviewing some of the principals in Chaplin the Musical, and I'm here with the astounding Zachary Unger. Zachary, say hi to Broadway.com. Hi, Broadway.com. Now, Zach, can you tell me a little bit about how it's been playing Charlie Chaplin? Well, it's been really fun. Mm -hmm. I love doing, like, even though I have to cry, but I still love doing it. You still love doing it. Now, yeah. you you really cry every night. How do you get there? Like, how do you, what do you do in your head to make yourself get to that place? Well, I think about, like, something sad, like, mm -hmm. if my mom had to leave me at a workhouse, yeah. I, I think about that, or, right. like, other sad things, too. Tell me what is your favorite part of the musical? Like, what's your favorite scene? Well, I think I like, well, I like doing my song and I like doing the lookalike contest. What do you like about the lookalike contest? Well, I get to spin a hat and it's fun. <laughs> and um, I just run around. Yeah. Um, now, do you have any, uh, who is it in the Broadway community that you really want to meet? Is there somebody that you really, really want to meet that you haven't uh, met yet? Maybe... Christian Boyle, I think. Christian, Christian Boyle. Yes, did you see him in um, Peter and the Starcatcher? Yeah. Wasn't that amazing? An unforgettable performance, right? Uh -huh. He's tremendous. Um, like you know, it. he's a buddy of mine. I might be able to... Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, I might be able to, to introduce you guys. Uh -huh. Zach, you're in the middle of a show. Thank you for taking time to come speak to me and to talk to your fans at Broadway.com. I really appreciate you. Welcome. Can we show them our special... Um, Oh, yeah. I'll do it on my knees so they can see our special handshake. Ready? <laughs> yes! <laughs> awesome! Erin Mackey, yes! Tell me a little bit about this process for you and how it's been. I want to know what is your favorite part of playing Una O'Neill? Hmm. Well, I mean, my favorite part has been, of course, I think, like the people because sure. I love everyone I'm working with. Mm -hmm. I mean, except this one. Girl, her name's Jen Tlella. She's kind of, I mean, she just, she gets on my nerves. That's what it is, more than anything. This is awkward. This is <laughs> <feels> strange. <laughs> <laughs> on no, your nerves. She gets no, on your she, okay, no, good. no. Um, I appreciate your candor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I've had a lovely time in this whole process. And Una, um, I mean, I think the coolest thing about playing her is like, she just has such a great perspective on life, and so I have to have that in the show because mm -hmm. that's what she brings to Charlie. And so it's kind of good for Aaron, too, because it's like, Oh, yeah, I remember, like, that there's people in the world that actually, like, have big, big problems, Absolutely. you know, like, yes. so it's been good. It's been fun to play a part that, like, is constantly reminding you of that. What do you do when you're not at the Barrymore Theater waiting to go on stage? Well, for opening night, my husband got me a Nintendo 3DS XL. Amazing. And he got me Super Mario Brothers 2, Amazing. so I'm in World 6 right now. That's incredible. Since Monday, and now it's Friday, and I'm on World 6, and I think there's eight worlds. That's impressive. Thanks. I don't know a lot about video games, that. but that sounds uh, yeah, impressive. Yeah, it, it's pretty good. Or I do my homework, because I'm in school. And, and so what are you studying in school? Why I'm taking a French class and a U.S. History class, because I never finished my undergrad degree. So I, I got wicked, and I left school, so I'm going back and going to Hunter College. Go Hawks! Well I think that's our mascot. Yes! I'm, and so, I'm so impressed by that. I got up for school this morning. I went from 9 to 11 this morning to my French class and my history class. I had a history quiz and I think I did very well. Did you do I well? Mean, I'm, I haven't gotten my grade back, but I felt like I got 100%. Can you share with me a piece of U.S. historical information in French? No! <laughs> no. <laughs> I have one more question to ask you show related, and it's such an obvious question. That's but, okay. Um, how has it been working you have such intimate scenes with Rob McClure how has that been he's pretty much like the best mm -hmm. I love him you I mean, have such tremendous do. chemistry there it's really, it was there from the beginning it's really lovely. yeah I even remember in my uh audition for the workshop I, I Rob was in there for the callback and I remember walking up the audition being like oh gosh he's really good mm. and, oh, I'd like to work you really felt good. it then. Yeah, like we just kind of clicked. You're beautiful in the show, my friend. Thanks. You really are absolutely Thanks. stunning. And I'm, I'm sure that the fans enjoy getting to know a little bit uh, about you and, and what your process has been and, yeah. and who you are off, you know, off stage as well. 
Thank you for spending time with us. You're welcome. I'm Enjoy. glad. Hello there, Broadway.com fans. Hello. We are um, winding down the first act of the show and intermission, and Leslie has agreed to sit with me and, and talk with you guys a little bit about her process of being the only female swing <laughs> of this huge Broadway show. Hello. Hi. Can you tell me a little bit about what that is, what your process has been? And sure. Um, well, my job description essentially is to cover all of the female ensemble members and principal women in the show. Mm -hmm. Which, essentially, when I heard that, I was like, oh, totally, I can, you know, I've done this before, I can do that. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I've covered a principal at a time in okay. the show, yes. but never took on this amount of responsibility before, mm -hmm. so it's been very overwhelming and challenging, but so gratifying at the same time. I've been able to explore one of those roles so far, which is really great. Beautifully. She went on really for fun. Una, and um, you did such a great oh, job. thank it you. Was tremendous. And the Beautiful. cast was so supportive. This group is so awesome. I literally stepped into a group that just gave me so much warmth and comfort, and We felt awesome. completely secure in your ability to step in and knew that you would be great, but it was still surprising how incredibly awesome you were. You too much. You were beautiful. Though. That was really fun. And who are some of the people that you admire and respect in the business? Um, I just did Follies and Bernadette Peters, mm -hmm. who is mm -hmm. just an incredible performer and role model in person. Mm -hmm. So just watching her was awesome. Um, and Kate Baldwin, mm -hmm. Kate Rainbow, just the leading ladies that I just aspire to be like and have gotten the pleasure of working with and watching and so that I think that's the greatest lesson is watching and listening mm. more so than partaking in an acting class which I think is also valuable. But. Sure. Absolutely. Thank you so much oh for spending God, time with course. us. You're Thank delightful you. and I look forward to spending more time with you on Absolutely. stage. Absolutely. You're incredible. Thanks Thank you. Broadway.com fans, I am sitting here with Haley Pichun. Hi. Um, will you say your last name over and over for me again? It's Pichun, like a sneeze. God, isn't it amazing? Pichun. But you like a sneeze. That's Simple. how she tells you to say her name. Yeah. I love it so much. Who do you play in the show? I play Mildred Harris, Charlie Chaplin's first wife. And what, ha have you done any research? What did you learn about Mildred Harris? She was very young, young, young bride. Like she, how young? They got married, she was like 15, 15, 16. Uh, she was a child movie star, mm -hmm. and uh, she, they met, and they were only married for two years. They had a child. It died three days after it was born. And then the second baby was not real. So we don't know if she lied about it or if it maybe happened and it just miscarried or what. We're not sure. But, um, yeah. And then actually their breakup wasn't as tumultuous as it is in our play. But, you know, you please, have to Please, Joan, it's your five-minute call. It's five minutes till the top of the show. Five, five minutes, five. please. Five. Um, yeah, they, by, they split amicably. They that, did. Is that how you say that? Am, am a club of law. Yeah. <laughs> the second time was better. Thank you. Um, what is your favorite part of playing Mildred? Like, why do you, why do you like I that? like my dress that I get to it's wear. Pretty it's astounding. beautiful. I call my disco amazing. ball dress. You get two amazing um, disco ball dresses. I do. Um, but my first black and white grayscale cinematic texture dress <laughs> is my favorite. <laughs> I mean, I think when I get to spin in it, whenever I get to mm. waltz, it's amazing because my gorgeous. skirt goes... It's so beautiful. You're Thanks. one of the funniest, funniest mother. <laughs> You're very funny. Thanks. And I adore you. Thanks. Thank you for spending love time. You lots. I love Come you lots. Come see us. Wow. This is say, say hi, Broadway.com. Hi, Broadway.com. Can you tell everybody what your name is? I'm Liana. And who's your mom? Um, Christiane. Christiane Noel is your mom. Amazing. Do you do you like the musical Chaplin? Yes. Yes. Well, we're glad you're here. Thanks for saying hi. Say bye, Broadway.com. Bye, bye. <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> One day, my name's up on the and the next day. <laughs> Hello there, it's Broadway. Catchy. Don't say it's not catchy. It's you catchy. can't say it's not catchy. <laughs> we were listening to Rob McClure over the um, intercom. Yes. And uh, we just made our own little jazzy we did. rendition of it. <laughs> Broadway.com fans, I am here with the beautiful and talented Christian. Hello, hello. My friend. hello. Um, tell me how this experience has been for you thus far. Um, it's been kind of up and up and down, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, life kind of imitating art a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, how so? Three-year-old daughter, 
not so jazzed on having me not be with her and I've had to sort of recreate the no mommy stay don't leave me here don't leave mm. me don't leave me I want to go with you I want to yeah so I, I don't only have to leave my my stage child three or four times a night I have to, to do it you know before I even come to the theater That's so taxing on the ticker yeah it kind of it kind of has been a little bit messy Brianna your daughter did a little She's, cameo. I know. Um, I can't yeah, wait so to see it. I can't wait so to see beautiful. it. So beautiful. So incredibly beautiful. She calls me uh, Miss Buggy, Miss and I call her Miss Buckets. Yes. We don't know why. No. We just that started just doing it happened. closer than ever, and and I'm crazy for her. She's incredible. Tell me what your favorite part of the show is that you're not a part of. Like, is there any part that that uh, gives you goosebumps? Uh, I love the the discovering hit him discovering the chaplain. The tramp discovery. Yeah. Me too. I mean, sorry, Tramp, right? Yeah, no, Tramp. I know what you meant. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Like, one of the yeah. coolest theatrical moments ever. The, the the way it looks, the way it's lit, yes. the, the, the way it's orchestrated. Yes. The, the choreography, everything. It's mm -hmm. all kind of goes, mm -hmm. the way those lights just go, and it's even on the tiny, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. pretty stunning. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. You're incredible in the show. Yeah. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of yours, and yeah. have been, um, and I just, I think there's nothing you can't do. Your voice is amazing. I feel you continuing to delve into the character work and getting stronger. And, and I just really admire you and look up to you. And getting to know you off stage and being your buddy yeah. has also been an incredible, um, uh, just a gift. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for spending time with Absolutely. me. Absolutely. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me for another week of Hedda's Headlines. I hope you enjoyed it. Next week, we're going to get inside Rob McClure's dressing room gonna get inside his head. <laughs> Come back. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.